We've discovered the Erusians are transporting a large quantity of strategic supplies and rapid deployment troops into Converth Harbor. Converth appears to be the staging area for an attack on North Point. The Acre Fleet stationed here seems to be the centerpiece of this strike. If the Erusians complete their troop preparation and the Acre Fleet sets sail, this will bring about our defeat in this war. Your mission is to intercept and shoot down the enemy transport planes in and around Converth Harbor. Let's show them how vulnerable they are. Be advised, the transport aircraft have ECMs on board that emit powerful jamming signals. Rely on visual contact rather than radar. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Ace Combat Distant Thunder! In today's episode we're going to be tackling Mission 4 Blockade, but first, it's time! We actually have a new aircraft available to us, and here it is, the F-16C! A much, much, much better plane than the F-16 and of course this pile of trash, but we're going to be getting into that right now. Okay, so here we are with the F-16C Falcon. I was so excited to get into this plane because the increased speed and mobility was all that I was looking forward to because, let's admit, F-4E feels very stiff to fly and I personally really hate that. But this plane, getting into it, is a completely different experience. That increase in mobility, you can feel it and it's nice. Anyway, so, cost 97,000 credits, by this point you should have quite a bit of money, so there's not no worries about that. Um, when you buy the third paint job, it'll be a 126,000 credits, so at that point you should have loads of money, so buying the third skin for this, you know, no trouble there. Anyway, so, obtaining the plane, you have to complete mission 3, of course. Second paint job, we have to complete mission 2 with an A+. We've done that, so when we complete the game, we should have the second paint job unlocked to us. Third paint job, we have to shoot down Temple. Uh, if you don't know already, that's an ace pilot, which we can't take out just yet. Uh, speed, 50. Air to air, 60. Air to ground, 30. Mobility, 60. Stability, 20. Defense, 50. So, all in all, fairly average stats. They're the mobility and speed are the main ones, and air to air of course. Then again, that doesn't really make sense to me because most, or no, all of the F-16C special weapons are uh, air to ground, which is really confusing why it's an air to, it's got really high air to air and very low air to ground. Doesn't make much sense, but anyway, so weaponry, we have extra gun now. We now have 700, very nice improvement there. 52 missiles, I think that's gone down by two. I think a worthy trade-off, to be honest. For the increased stats, that's not too bad. Special weapons, UGBS, we got 14 of those, and XAGM, 12 of those, 52,000 if you want to buy it. I don't personally use the XAGM, but I don't know, if you want to use it, by all means do that, but I won't be buying it. Anyway, so F-16C, great improvement to the F-4E, I highly recommend you buy this plane because it will be worth your while, do not use the F-4E anymore, just stop there, unless you're challenging yourself and you're going through the entire game with it, but if you're playing normally, buy this plane now, very very good. Anyway, enough of that, let's get on. And yes, like I said, F-16C, much better plane than what we already have. So, without further ado, I'm going to be buying it. Alright, so, with our new plane intact, and we're not going to be buying any special weapons because they're all air to ground and we aren't really taking out, well we're not, we're not taking out any ground targets in this mission, so we can go ahead and start it. And yes, of course, we're going to be using the F-16C. Very excited about this because we're finally going to use a plane that's going to feel a little better than the F4E. It's not. It's a lot better, let's say that. But yes, let's go. Good luck. 
Okay, so as you can see on the map, there's some weird circle things going on. That is the jamming radar thingamabobbies. They're flying around and I suggest you take them out first. Because the radar jamming can get a little annoying and you're just better off taking them out first. So top priority, take out the jammers first. And I'm just going to quickly mention this song for this mission. So good. One of my favourite songs in this game. I'm going to be point pointing out any songs that I really like, but this one in particular is so good. One of the best songs in this game, by far. Alright, so here's our second radar jammer. We can take that out. And with that gone, we can now focus on our targets and the escorts, of course. Taking these out is top priority because we want to get an S rank to obviously get the most money out of this. All aircraft, check radar. It should be clear and functioning now. Oh yeah, because of me, Sky Eye. <laughs> oh god, that missed. Okay, um, that's actually a plane we actually haven't seen yet. How many times do I have to say actually? <laughs> um, yes, so that's a MiG-29. I don't think we can buy that plane, sadly, but it exists and you can shoot it down. So, yeah, we're going to be shooting that down once I can get behind it and it stop moving. And there we go, gone. Now, something to bear in mind. Um, you want to take out the escorts first, of course. But, I'll explain in just a bit once we take this guy out. And we go on to take out the first transport plane. If we can actually catch this guy, because he's being really annoying. I'm sliding down as much as I can, I just can't get behind him. There we go. Oh, come on! No, we do not want to miss again because we don't want to use up too many of our missiles. I don't want to have to bomb everything in midair. That's not nice. Okay, cool. Right, so we're going to go over to the first transport plane now. A little something happens when you take out one of these, which I will demonstrate to you once we get close enough to it. There we go. Okay. So, once that gets shot down... Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> That was pretty scary. That could have killed us, bear in mind. But yes, once you take down one transport plane, two escorts will randomly appear out of nowhere. Um, these, of course, you need to shoot down if you want an S rank. They're F-16, so fairly easy to shoot down. And yes, another new plane we haven't seen yet. The Mirage, MIR standing for Mirage, of course. Uh, 2000, is it? Yes, it is. Mirage 2000. I really like the Mirage. Just gonna say, say now. Just gonna say now? Um, ignore me. <laughs> but, yeah, let's turn around and shoot these guys down. I really like the Mirage because they're really quick and their mobility is fairly good too. Whether we get one of these or not, well, I can't really say yet. We'll have to unlock more planes first since something is shooting at it will not give up, and I think I'm stalling. Not good. Come on. This is really getting on my nerves. I'm literally right behind him, and there's someone behind me too. He is... Alright, you know what I'm going to do? To make things a little easier. I'm going to fly away, and then turn around because going behind the target and they're constantly moving, you might as well give up and try and approach from a different angle because you're not going to shoot. Right, hopefully that takes it out. Oh, one of them did. Okay, cool. We only have to shoot one more missile like that. And there we go. Okay. Now, can I get to this guy? No, I'm going to pull out. But I think I'm going to work with this strategy a bit. Pull out if you know you can't take him out and then turn around and see if you can get him from behind. Because that sometimes works. Keep your train in mind. You'll be fine. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. Ah, oh, very close though. Oh god, I was going too fast. If I was a little bit slower, I reckon I could have taken it out. But oh well. I am not actually having that much luck with this go. All right, that should definitely take it out. And it doesn't. I, it looked like it was going to take it out. And this guy is doing some really wacky maru maroomering? <laughs> Man maneuvering, sorry. Some words, for some reason, I just can't pronounce. Oh, he actually shot it. There we go. 
All right. Got a weak point when it was going in a straight line. But that's what you get. <laughs> okay, so once we take out this guy, another two escorts should appear. Now, I'm getting a bit worried because we only have six minutes left. going to shoot this guy with my gun. It's wasting a bit of time, but I've only got 14, no, 15 missiles left, so that's not good. So, I'm going to take this guy out with my gun. Come on, you're... Oh, there we go. Alright, and there's our other two escort planes. Right, I need to make sure, just for the sake of getting an S rank, that I take these guys out properly. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Stay still, stay still. Yes! Alright, they went down fairly quickly. Alright, so we just got one Mirage left. I think them lot, the guy, the blues, took out one of the tar one of the um, escorts, which is not good. Hopefully they don't take down this uh, transport plane. I don't think the AI is supposed to take out targets. I think No, it is. It is. It's taken out. I thought it didn't, but no. Oh, thank God. Okay, we got an S rank, so that went fairly, fairly okay. So good, good, good. Good job. You shot down the enemy transport without any radar. Well, that's wrong, because we shot down the radar plane thingamabobby. <laughs> we shot them down. What are you talking about, Sky? Yes, yeah, so it didn't go as well as my first play at this game, but it went okay. The mission was a success. This illusion air corridor has been effectively shut down. Fairly brief there, but brief is still good. Anyway, so we got our S rank, so as long as we get that, that's fine. Uh, took out pretty much everything, so yeah, fairly successful mission, cool. And there is no cutscene in this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next mission. Bye bye.